Hi Taurus, welcome to your January and February 2018 Bliss Report. It's Rena here. And basically what a Bliss Report is, is me just um, doing a simple tarot spread along with picking an Akashic tarot card and a Keeper's Little Light Oracle card and seeing if any messages emerge for your life on how you can follow your bliss. And following your bliss will mean different things for different people. There, there are no, you know, um, universal things that all of us want to do. But it's basically what are your wildest dreams? What would you like to happen in your life? And maybe it's career related, maybe it's not. Maybe it's relationship oriented. But this is not going to be, I'm not going to uh, really focus on relationships to the exclusion of all else because I already have uh, a love reading up for your sign. So you can look on my channel for that. This is kind of um, the things in life that make us, makes our heart sing. The simple cutting of the cards. Quan Yin. Like her. Put her here. And da, 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 da. this is the Akashic. Okay. Get over here. Okay. So, for January and February, what I have here is the Ten of Swords. And this is the focal point of this time period. Now, for those people who are somewhat familiar with the meanings of the standard tarot cards like uh, this this one um, you know that the ten of swords is a card of betrayal and hitting bottom and the end of a, a cycle okay so if it's the end of the site of a cycle there is possibly a bitter tone to it where you feel like like, let's say you decide to quit a job. You don't just quit a job because you don't like that type of work anymore. You're quitting because you feel like somebody did something to you. That sort of feeling that you may have. So there may be something that ends for you and you feel like someone did something to you that prompted you to have to cut it off. But, um, remember, obviously, this is a general reading. But if this, if this sounds like something that could possibly happen, maybe it's something that already has happened for you in January, Taurus, understand that you were uh, part of the dance. And what I mean by that is a lot of times people, this happens in relationships too, people are very reluctant to change their lives and they stick around too long and then the something um, really unpleasant happens. So the best thing is always to be proactive in your life. You are a fixed sign and you tend to kind of cling to the known quantity. 
and then eventually it gets to the point where you are forced to deal with it and it becomes very unpleasant that you have to deal with a certain situation. By the way, um, in February you have a solar eclipse in your 10th house of career, which is a very powerful new moon. So it can't be all that bad, let's put it that way. And that might have just been almost like the past position even. This is supposed to be the past position, the Four of Cups, which indicates some sort of lack of interest that you have in something, and that may have led um, to a chain of events that involved you, um, you know, in your own way, maybe your higher self pushing you out of a situation that is now unsatisfactory and allows you to kind of fulfill your own destiny. The spiritual message is the Seven of Wands. This is a card of standing your ground. In the future, you may um, need to alter the type of interactions that you have with others so that you never allow any kind of resentment to build up and you're able to you're able to stand up for yourself in a situation where maybe before you let somebody walk all over you and that produced um, feeling unhappy about the environment and that kind of poisoned it because you were already feeling a sense of dissatisfaction. Now this gets interesting because I did get for the Akashic Tarot the card of reflection. This is a card that is connected to reflection, but you have it in the challenge position. So it's possible that Taurus people are resisting really looking at um, your, like what has happened and dealing with it from a conscious point of view. And why this would be the case, who knows? Maybe you are resistant to really looking at the situation for what it was. It's possible that if you did look at the situation for what it was, you would see areas that you dropped the ball. And I'm usually talking about something related to a job that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Remember, not only do you have a solar eclipse in your 10th house of career in February, but any time, uh, Taurus, that you let go of something that is just dragging you down, you make room for something that is really going to make your life 10 times better. So instead of focusing on what is not really um, happening for you anymore, Focus on all the great things that are going to happen, but do take some time to reflect. Don't just jump into a new experience because you may get a job offer right away if you are between jobs and you're like kind of so um, active and busy that you don't have time to really recover from an experience that may have been very disappointing where someone you trusted let you down. The advice is the Seven of Pentacles. This is about having patience. That's some endeavor that you are trying to um, either get off the ground yourself or if this is a new job and you're seeing if it's really going to work out for you, you're, you allow it time to show its stuff. You know, you see the leaves that are surrounding the pentacles. The pentacles can connect with earth energy like your sign as well as financial matters and career matters or especially yeah um, jobs and it's all about tangibility with pentacles and you want to see tangible results you don't want it, um, anybody to pay you lip service you don't want to be told oh it, it's it's going to be great just give it six months <clears throat> you want to see you want them to show you the money but it does take time for things to take uh, root right so 
definitely as much as you may be eager to have something work out and work out right away, you may have to allow time for it. And the outcome is you at work, you may be working with um, other people and you like teamwork and you're building something of substance. So that bodes very well that the, that the advice and the outcome are both cards that relate to pentacles because that is that resonates with your vibration of earth. So I'm not going to delay uh, reading these cards because it looks like I have very little time on my, uh, whatchamacallit, my memory card. So I got Reflection. Let me just look it up because I'm going to be reading from the book. A full moon shines brightly over a quiet lake as a small ship glides through gently through the water. The glow of the ship's lantern is reflected on the lake's surf surface along with the moonlight from above. This card can sometimes show a trip, particularly a trip over or by water. More important to reveal to you that you're now having a direct line to your psychic gifts. You are also more aware of your emotions and more reflective about them. You recognize the differences between your intuitive voice, which is calm and assured, and your lower emotional compulsions, which are urgent and sometimes fear-based. Let yourself gain even more, gain even greater clarity and control over your emotions now. This would, this also would be a great time For you to take classes in meditation, psychic development, counseling, healing, and other psychological and spiritual arts if you have such an interest. Your yin side is wide open and your receptivity is high. Trust your inner voice and you will be guided to greatness. Well, I like that one because I have Taurus rising, so that, that definitely speaks to me. Okay. Now let's look at uh, the Keepers of Light. We have Corn Yin. Care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Quan Yin, and then they, they have it Q-U-A-N, but sometimes it's spelled K-U-A-N, is a Bodhisattva, Buddha-like being and the goddess of mercy, compassion, and love. Though she's acknowledged in Buddhism and the traditions of China, she goes beyond religion and warms the heart of all who call on her. She has a strong connection to healing energy, in particular Reiki, and encourages people to offer care, forgiveness, and compassion to themselves and others. Compassion is about recognizing the spirit in others, it's about seeing that they come from the same source as you do. First of all, the keepers of the light want to acknowledge all the service and commitment you have offered to others. You are all love. If you are finding it difficult with anyone at the moment, the best way you can move forwards is to go beyond wanting to understand why or how they are the way they are. Just move behind, beyond their behavior, mistakes, and challenges. This card brings a message of friendship and care, helping you see that those around you do have the best intentions, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Move into compassion and develop a greater understanding. This will elevate your spirit and connection to love. So even if someone has done you wrong in the workplace, for instance, or, you know, the Ten of Swords, this could be in your private life, and that affected your work. No matter what has happened, choose to honor the good in that person. Don't demonize that person, even if they've done something horrendous, um, because that keeps you in the vibration of being the victim, of the, of the person who 
was screwed over. And you may, f may make a very good case for having been screwed over about something in life. But if you want to succeed and have your dreams come true, you have to always be willing to move on and let go of the failings of other people because everyone does things with the hopes of making themselves happy even when they um, hurt other people and what I always think when I feel that someone tried to do something to me like that I always think gosh that must really be hard to to be in that position where you screw people over because I know I would feel very guilty if I knowingly was doing that to somebody else. So there's a lack of, there's like a disconnect there when people do this. And that's on them. You don't have to, um, you know, be vengeful or anything like that. You just know that they are still learning in life. That's not excusing bad behavior. That's just not getting sucked up into their bad behavior. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Have an awesome rest of January and February, Taurus. Bye.